In this lecture, we're going to cover animated progress bars. You know those, those bars that go across the bottom of the screen to show you how far you've made it into the video? In fact, I'm going to show you two ways to create animated pro uh, progress bars. One, to move some object across the screen, and the other, to move a red bar across the screen. So let's jump into Create Studio, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here I am in Create Studio, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up an existing project so that we have a project to put a progress bar on. And I'm looking for binoculars. There we go. So we'll bring up this. This was the demonstration of using layer masks to have a moving binocular. So you can see the total length of the project is almost 14 seconds. So we're going to have our progress bar span that. Uh, I thought for a progress bar, we would use the balloon shape. I kind of like the balloon shape. We'll have it flying along the screen. So here's the balloon. It's going to go all the way across and it's going to be small so that we can keep it at the bottom of the screen. Now when the animation starts, it'll be right about there. So let's open up the balloon, add an animation of position, and the starting position is just fine. Now we just need to add the ending position, and that's going to be over here, halfway cut off. So now all we've got to do is span the entire video with this animation. And here's what we get. Focus on the balloon, not on the binocular effect. Okay, that's pretty nice, but obviously we need to fix the easing on this and make it linear, both beginning and end. And let's try this one more time. There we go. Now it's going smoothly like a progress bar. So you can use any shape you want. A football a person. You can have a character moving across the screen as your progress bar. Now this is an all right progress bar, but I think we can do better. Let's delete this. And what I was thinking is let's go to the beginning and bring in a shape a rectangle and we want that rectangle to be bright red and I'm going to take it and I'm going to move it down here make it look like a bar like that and then whoop, I want to make it the full length of the screen. Now let's add an animation to this rectangle. And it will be position. Okay, at the beginning position, where do I want this to be? I want the rectangle to be off the screen. And then the ending position, yeah, all the way across the screen. And we take this bar, and we make it the full length of the video. We put the animation to the beginning, and we make it the full length of the video. Let's see what we got. Now, wait a second. Let's pause. First of all, we need to do easing once again. I really wish they had defaulted easing to linear. Here we go. Now 
And that's two ways to put a progress bar onto your animations. In the next lecture, we're going to look at the Additional Features Workshop. And I thought what I would do is I would present all of the features and stuff that I forgot to include anywhere else in the course. So I'll see you there.